Our next guest was an NFL quarterback for 17 seasons and is now an analyst for Prime Video's Thursday Night Football, which premieres next Thursday, September 15th. Please welcome to the show, Ryan Fitzpatrick, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So, uh, 17 seasons in the league, and I'm just wondering, over the course of that time, did you ever picture broadcasting being the next step? Did you consider coaching, or did you just think you were going to play forever? Because very few people do 17 years. I thought I could play forever. <laughs> yeah. Um, had a hip injury last year, so age started catching up with me a little bit, but... I think those are the two natural avenues, coaching and broadcasting, just because it's something I've essentially dedicated my whole life to doing. Um, but coaching is very hard. <laughs> yeah. A lot of hours. My kids would be, you know, not real happy with dad. So uh, the broadcasting thing, I think it's going to be fun. I think I've got a lot of experiences I can share. And Amazon with Prime Video and this new Thursday night football package seem like the right fit. That's also a very important thing to note. You actually have a broadcasting job, a football broadcasting job, and you don't work weekends, which is, for your children, very kind. Which is huge. Yeah. So I could still be soccer dad. I uh -huh. could still watch all of the stuff that goes on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's going to be great. And we should know that you, uh, you're you not just a well, one-kid dad. We've got seven. <laughs> We've got seven little ones. Oh, you got seven uh, kids? Yeah, which you have... Th I have three, have and three. I'm, like, walking around being like, oh, I'm a real big shot, but no. <laughs> I will tell you, I am also feel like I'm a big shot, but my wife left out of town for about a week. Um, wow. So I had all seven of them. <laughs> and is it, what, three to 15? Is that the age? Three to 15, okay. all the odd years in between. And I just had to get out of the way. They are well-trained. <laughs> like, I, they asked me to pour milk, like, in the cereal bowl. That was, like, Dad's role for the week, basically. Wow. But, and then one of my four daughters asked me to braid her hair. So I've got the... <laughs> the double braid where you start the braid and the hair gets all weird, so you put the tie in and then you braid more. <laughs> I call it the double braid and it's what they love. Okay, yeah. great. What is the, what, just for uh, the logistics of seven children, what is the transportation situation? So it's the only time we ever had to think about are we having another kid? Because when you go from six to seven, you go from minivan to something else. <laughs> okay. So we no longer fit in a minivan. We got a... <laughs> Big old 12-passenger van, um, which is great when all the kids are in it. And then when I'm driving it by myself, <laughs> people are like, hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that guy. Yeah, I will say, like, that beard and an empty passenger van. <laughs> it's, it's not great. Yeah, it's not great. Not great. <laughs> not great. I often have lots of candy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, of course, seven kids, you're going to have candy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you... Uh, you played for... Uh, how many different teams do you play for over, over your 17 years? Uh, nine. Nine. nine and uh, does that mean that you have fan bases everywhere that uh, consider you uh, one of theirs, or are you often approached? Um, yeah, I, I do. I would say Buffalo, uh, the Jets, uh -huh. uh, Miami. Those are probably the three. Tampa, those are the four that if I'm getting approached in an airport, like, it's probably one of those four. It's uh -huh. probably not St. Louis Rams and <laughs> Tennessee and Cincinnati and those teams. But... Uh, yeah, it's always interesting, like, okay, what are they going to come up and say to me when they yeah. approach me? How about in New York? How do you get treated here? Uh, you know, it's 2015 season, if they remember you from that season, they love me, <laughs> most of it. Um, 2016, not so much. So <laughs> it's like a 50-50 proposition. Uh, this is from today you got recognized. This is from today. We're um, having a slice of pizza. And this is... Uh... <laughs> I mean, uh, that shows, when you got a, a demographic of fan who's not using a phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I think, I think he may, we were talking about uh, streaming football on Thursday nights. I don't know that he's going to be <laughs> yeah. set up for the first yeah. week to do it, but we're going to get him his prime membership. Uh, you, mentioned, uh, you mentioned Buffalo. Uh, Buffalo had uh, an incredible uh, first week of playoff football last year against the Patriots, which is obviously a team, uh, you know, everybody in the AFC East has had trouble with the Patriots over the years. Yeah. Huge win. You went to the game. Uh, first of all, very impressed. You did not do the luxury box uh, path. So you went and sat with the fans. How many of your kids uh, did you bring with you? Uh, my two oldest. So my at the time, my boys were 14 and 12. And uh, it was negative 10 degrees. Yeah. Um, here's the photo of you and I think your oldest. Now, yeah. 
how did uh, how did it come up? How did it come about that you guys decided to go shirtless? Uh, the whole way walking through the parking lot into the gates, well, they learned some new words. So yep. we had a guy with a Mac Jones jersey walking by us, and so plenty of uh, expletives being thrown. But my boys the whole time were like, "Dad, shirts off, shirts <laughs> off." So it's like I was just. I felt like I was in college again, getting peer pressure to like go drinking or something, yeah. you know? Um, and so the Bills score seven touchdowns in a row, yeah. which like has never happened. And I thought, this is the moment, boys. And so we <laughs> ripped them off and- I would imagine the uh, fans in the area were pretty, uh, pretty proud of you as a, as a former Bill. When yeah, you well, and I had, we had, it's then other people started taking their shirts okay, off as gotcha. well. So the peer pressure goes both ways. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is one of my uh, uh, favorite. So you, uh, I remember this photo uh, from a press conference. Uh, Deshaun Jackson uh, was a wide receiver with you yeah. in Tampa. Uh, and can you explain how you ended up in his clothes? So d -Jack walks through the locker room and what he's wearing, I, I just, I felt like it was something I could never get away with. Like he, anything he wears looks cool. Yeah. And I'm always complimenting him. And so he walks through with this get up and chains and I'm like, d -Jack, I could never wear that. People would just laugh me off the stage essentially. And he said, well, if we win today, you're wearing it. Yeah. And so we win the game, press conference comes up and and I gotta be honest, you pull it off. It's not bad, right? It's not bad. But he's... <laughs> it's really not bad. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. He's 60 pounds lighter than me, he's so it was like a little, right. yeah. little, little snug. But, yeah, it's a yeah. little snug, but um, this is really the highest compliment. I mean, yes. I can tell you you pulled it off, but uh, then your son decided to wear it for Halloween. Yes. So uh, he really pulls it off. <laughs> with the penciled-in chest hair there, yeah. too. With the yeah. penciled-in chest hair. <laughs> But that's, for me, like, that's the highest compliment as a father, your son dressing up like you yeah. for Halloween. I felt like I know where to go but down now as a father. <laughs> uh, also, it should be noted, uh, Richard Sherman, uh, Al Michaels, you're, you're really with one of the all-time greats uh, in the booth. Yes, and so Al Michaels and Kirk Herbstreet, which they're both, the voices are iconic, but it's like when Al's just telling a conversation and he's speaking, he's ordering a steak for lunch, you're just mesmerized by his voice. Uh, yeah, and then Richard Sherman is going to be great. He's freshly off the field as well, um, and he's a defensive guy. So I think we're going to have a lot of battles in terms of what we like going on in the game and what we don't, but that's going to be real interesting. And then the Hall of Famer, Tony Gonzalez and Carissa Thompson. Well, it's a great uh, group, and it was really uh, exciting and cool to watch you for 17 years on the field, and I'm really excited for this next chapter as well. Thanks for making yeah, time for you. us, man. Ryan Fitzpatrick, everybody, Thursday Night Football. Premieres Thursday, September 15th on Prime Video. We'll be right back with more Late Nights.